What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tuesday's episode here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're going to dive right into it. Um, so, as you may know from watching Sunday's live show, we've talked about that the NES Classic has been discontinued. However, there are rumors of a SNES Classic on the way. So, what I pose to you guys, and of course everybody here, is what games we would like to see on the NES Classic. So, let's begin. SNES Classic. SNES Classic. Did I say the NES? Yes, you did. That's I, okay. There's going to be a lot of confusion on this episode because we're probably going to go back and forth over and over again. Because we still want one. <laughs> <laughs> we still want we'll the NES Classic. So, let's jump in right into it. Number one game should be on there, Super Mario World. Yes, has Absol- to be on there. Has, has to, be. to be on there. It was absolutely astonishing and amazing what they were able to accomplish in Super Mario World. It, it's actually like the game that I think of when I think of Super Mario. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the game. That's like the instant. That's the one that flashes in my mind instantly. Not Super Mario Brothers, not any of that. Super Mario World. Whenever I think of Mario, it's, it's the cape and the bomb. I still love Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, good games. I'm not saying that they're not good games, I but for me, that yeah. that's the that Super Mario World is the one that registers instantly. Absolutely. I mean, flawless gameplay. I mean, you have the secrets, and you can skip here and skip there, and Yoshi, and it was mm-hmm. just an incredible Yoshi. game. Yoshi. Who doesn't love Yoshi? Everybody loves Yoshi. Uh, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Should be on there. Um, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Um, if you guys don't know, this was... Um, it was remade, really, as Link Between Worlds when mm-hmm. it was for the 3DS. But this was the original OG. The OG where, Legend of oh, Zelda. Oh, okay. I was going to say, where does this fall in the... Uh... It was um, when I was playing, and you, I think you might have remembered, um, Link Between Worlds. You can go into the walls and, like, it, it was very cool. But this is, like, you can do whatever you want in any order. And it's just, it was a fantastic game. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely should be a part of it. Um Damn, this could be a long list. Huh. I'm telling Star you. Fox should be on there. Absolutely. I think Star Fox should be on there. If they're trying to revive uh, the Star Fox namesake, then Star Fox needs to be on that SNES classic. What about Super Metroid? Super Metroid, absolutely. Why you, would loved, you loved that, didn't you? It was good. I was not, I'm not the biggest fan of Metroid. Yeah, yeah. But it was like a Metroid Prime. In, in terms of like a side scroller open world game, yeah. It's definitely it's it's on top. it's it's top notch, so it has to be there. Uh Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega Man X? Mega Man X, yes, sir. Absolutely. That has to be on there. Oh, 100 percent Oh God, there's so many great games. <laughs> um, Donkey Kong Country. Yes. Easily. Yes, that's the first time that we got to see like developers cheating 3D. Mm-hmm. In in the system. I think actually the assets in that game were actually 3D. They were just pre-rendered. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. The assets were actually 3D models. And the game comes out in a couple of days, but before that, Super Mario Kart. Yes. Of course, Mario Kart the original. Deluxe is coming out for the Switch on the 28th. The original Super Mario Kart. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kart, absolutely. <laughs> Street Fighter 2. I don't, I don't know if I want to see Street Fighter 2. I think I want to see something that's a little more amped up, like perhaps Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Ooh. That would be a nice one to be on there. Because you get the kind of the best of both worlds, right? You get your Street Fighter 2 baseline, and then you get the added um, characters. So, 100%. Well, just if I, I, I apologize. I have forgotten. How many games 30. did, did it, come, it came with 30? Okay. 30. So, okay. I didn't know if we were over yet, realistically, we, what the S is. We'll be knows. probably around 20 or 30. Not surprising. Um, shout out to Yoshi's Island. Of course, has to be on there. Yes. Um, one game I've never played. And I've always wanted to play, and you might enlighten me on this, sir. Super Mario RPG. Never played it. Really? Never played it. But I hear wonderful things it about is it. The How basis, is it different? It's the basis for Paper Mario. Yeah. Oh. And I love Paper Mario. Yeah. yeah. 64 yeah. is still one of my favorites. Yeah, I think Super Mario RPG is the basis for Paper Mario, so uh, mm-hmm. that could actually work out. Then you have Earthbound. Yes, that yeah. has to be on there. I Spe- never played. Do you I'm enjoy it? No, I've never played it, but it has to be on there. Turtles in Time. I would actually like to see Earthbound 2 on there also because that was never released in America. Hmm. Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time, yes. One of the hardest games ever. Super Mario All-Stars. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it basically has Super Mario Brothers 1, I believe, 30, and Lost Levels. I don't believe 2 is on there. Double Dragon and Battletoads. 
right? Am mm-hmm. I right? Yeah, I mean, a- two of the well, not two of the hardest games. Double Dragon was actually fairly medium. It's like, it's like a intermediate game, but Battle Toads by far one of the hardest games ever. You have to play that game. Especially for these new new these new gamers, they have to play that they game. Don't know, they don't know the struggles. They don't know the, don't struggles. Know the struggles. They don't know the struggles. <laughs> Streets of Rage, I think, should also go in line with that. I think, because we'll get hate if we don't say it. Final Fantasy VI. Yes. Has Probably to be one on of there. the best Final Fantasies ever. Were was there Final Fantasy titles on the classic on the NES classic? I wanna say f- there was uh, the Final Fantasy 2, I can check out. Give me one second, sir. Talk to the people. Hi, people. How's it going? Uh, Pete's looking up titles and figuring out if Final Fantasy was actually released on the NES Classic. And we're sitting here encouraging him. We are encouraging him to do this on the channel live as we're talking to you. Um, We can also talk about Kirby's Superstar. I don't know anything Kirby. about Kirby. I know you're a huge Kirby fan. I was never. He is a Kirby an overly fan. crazy uh, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been a fan of Kirby. So I have not been a fan of Kirby <laughs> either. I am. I could do without Kirby in the in the universe Adventure at all. Islands. Not that I see at the moment, but I could have sworn there was a final. Is this where we go? If you guys know the answer, put it in the comments. Yeah, if you know the answer, put it in the comments below, because uh. This is all about participation. It's not just us telling Final you. Fantasy. There we go. He found it. Never mind. We found the answer. <laughs> that whole part is the first It was going to be a nice sentimental, like, this isn't just about oh my us God. talking. This is about fan interaction, is, yeah. and he squashed and it he like a bug. And he just squashed it like a bug. You oh can still interact God. I can't wait. Pete. I need... To- we need to go tomorrow. <laughs> I'm looking at all these games. No, and, oh don't my do, god! Do. Oh, sweet Jesus! He's putting a lot of hopes and dreams in my lap. Thank you. Uh, what else we got here? Um, Earthworm Jim. Yes, <gasps> I've that, heard of that. I, I that's honestly true. That's a phenomenal that. game. I've heard of that. You need you need the Disney titles in there also, right? Disney titles like Aladdin, Aladdin and Lion King. Lion which, King. Has the hardest second level of any imaginable Fucking game. Lion King, the hardest second level ever, dude. It, it's phenomenally ridiculous. It will haunt your dreams. Dragon Quest V. Dragon Quest V. Super Bomber Man. Super Bomber Man. But now is Kingdom Hearts... No, Kingdom Hearts came out too late, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. PlayStation See, I, I sort of know stuff. Um, let's see. Any other Pac-Man? Uh... Oh, Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. Pac-Man's got to be released on it. Uh, I could see fun. Why Donkey Kong rock? Country 3. Okay, why why why, why three? Why why just skip two entirely? Well, you could put two on. <laughs> why the fuck not? He's like Donkey Kong Country and then Donkey Kong Country three, but yeah, not two. Apparently, fuck yeah. two. Um, <laughs> hmm. two has wronged me. <laughs> Goddamn right it has. How dare you introduce Diddy Kong? Ooh, you son we said uh, Mortal Kombat two, right? Yeah. Mortal Kombat one. one. I said I one. Said I said one. one. And then he one. said. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So what Mortal about Kombat Tetris? 2. You didn't talk about Tetris. Not Tetris. Though. Anybody can play Tetris. Yeah. Don't get an SNES classic to play Tetris. That's just... No, not at all. You're just um, wasting space at that point. Uh, I think that's good. I, I like that list. Are we happy? Are we happy with that list? We're happy. I think it works. I mean, if you're not happy with the list... Let us know in the This comments. is, of course, about participation See, where you join in. comes full circle. We come back to it. We come back to it. <laughs> you can let us know down in the comments below... If you think what titles needs you to think, get information faster, What too. titles you think should be on the SNES Classic, and uh, if you think Pete needs to get to information faster or perhaps research things before he gets into this apartment to record. <laughs> I forget Bugs how much Bunny, I side with Nick. Rabbit Rampage. <gasps> oh, that was such yes! a good game, dude. Oh, my God. That was so good. You're welcome for me looking at it, ladies <laughs> That's and gentlemen. So good. Oh, my God. Was X-Men released on the SNES, or was that just Sega? Would you like me to check for you, sir? <laughs> I was obsessed with the... Oh, my God. Blast from the past. Holy moly. Uh, da, 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 da. Tasmanian Devil. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse was released in November 1994. Was it on the NES? SNES? It was. It was? What about... That's why I'm reading it. Nick. Booger Man. Did Booger you guys, Man. Did you ever play Booger Man? No. What is Booger Man? Booger Man is fucking fantastic, dude. It was, it was fucking awesome. I gotta be honest. Like that was probably one of the best games I ever played. Booger Man, a pick and flick adventure. <laughs> yes. Released September 15, <laughs> 1995. Please be on the Super NES. I'm telling you, Pete, Pete, <laughs> this game was phenomenal. I, I shit you not. All right. This guy, right, 
farts fire out of his ass and flies around. He flicks burger, boogers at people, and, like, that's his and weapon. Injures him, he injures burps, him? Oh my he God. burps to injure. Like, it's, like, the most grotesque game that you've ever played, but it's fucking awesome. Like, they should, they should definitely put Booger Man on there. And they could all put on. We could put Donkey Kong 2 Country uh, Diddy Kong's Quest. We can put two on there. Yes. So I feel like that's a very good list. Let us know in the comments, of course, if we miss something that you want to see on the list. Like Dream TV. Whatever that means. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Tuesday's episode of Improv Gaming. I'm always joined with the host with the toast. I don't know what that even means, to be honest. He has the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. It's Mr. Nicholas De Jesus. How's it going tonight, ladies and gentlemen? I'm always joined by the host with the most... Mr. I'm Wondering himself with the Kangol cap in tow. It's Mr. Peter Anderson. What's going on, guys? And our special guest for Sunday's show and this week, Miss Christine Anderson, the best camera girl in the business. Hey, guys. What's up? So, if you haven't known, go over, check out Sunday's show. We, I tell you all about Guardians of the Galaxy, the first episode. Also, stay tuned for the channel. We got a surprise. Even Nick doesn't know what the surprise is. I don't know what it is. Because Nick... Like on Facebook, doesn't know what I'm going to do half the time. <laughs> I love that. Did you like that? I love it. Um, so you can check out that. We also have reactions trailers to Battlefront 2 and Guardians of the Galaxy. So if you want to check out the trailer of the reaction and then watch Sunday's episode to let us know, what, we'll let you know what we think of Guardians of the Galaxy episode one. Until next time, game on.